We all know the version of St. Valentine's Day that we celebrate in America these days. February 14th, the date on the calendar to send a card, chocolate and flowers to someone we're romantically interested in. But what's the history surrounding the first St. Valentine's Day? Who was St. Valentine anyway? To get an answer, I traveled to Dublin, Ireland to start my quest. At least three different martyrs for Christianity named Valentine were granted sainthood in the Roman Catholic Church. Collectively, they were given February 14th as their feast day, going back as far as the third century. February 14th is also celebrated as St. Valentine's Day in other Christian denominations. For instance, it's a commemoration day in the calendar of saints in the Anglican communion and a feast day in the calendar of saints of the Lutheran Church. I've traveled here to Dublin, Ireland to learn a bit more about the Christian history related to St. Valentine's Day. According to tradition, one of the best known stories about St. Valentine comes from Europe during the third century. The Roman Empire had been at war for many years. Its power was declining, especially its military, and more and more soldiers were deserting. In fact, many young men stopped signing up for the army altogether. According to the Roman emperor at the time, Claude II, prospective soldiers were more interested in women and having families than in fighting for the empire. In an effort to solve the problem, cruel Claude, as he was then nicknamed, simply outlawed weddings throughout his realm. But a priest named Valentine decided to defy the emperor's decree. In secret, he encouraged young lovers to meet him so they could be blessed with a wedding and the sacrament of marriage in the church. Eventually, Claude heard about these secret weddings and put Valentine in jail. There, the priest befriended the blind daughter of his prison guard. In the end, Valentine was sentenced to death. According to tradition, right before his execution on February 14th in the year 270, he prayed for the blind girl and she received her sight. He also gave her a heart-shaped letter with a blessing signed from your Valentine. When the Roman Empire collapsed at the end of the fifth century, Valentine was declared a saint by the Catholic Church for his sacrifice in the defense of love and the sacrament of marriage. Although some of this history is based in tradition, it's a great story that supports the establishment of St. Valentine's Day as a religious feast day on February 14th. This is Whitefriars Street Church in Dublin. It's a Roman Catholic church maintained by the Carmelite order. I'm here because Whitefriars Street Church is noted for having the bones of one of the St. Valentines. They were donated to the church in the 19th century by Pope Gregory XVI and moved here from their previous location at a cemetery in Rome. Although St. Valentine's Day was first established as a feast day in the Catholic calendar of saints, it was removed from the general church calendar in 1969 and relegated to local church calendars. The stated reason, quote, though the memorial of St. Valentine is ancient, it is left to particular calendars, since apart from his name, nothing is really known of St. Valentine except that he was buried in Rome on February 14th. <laughs> 